Hey guys, welcome to Love's Life. Today's Wednesday, another day of being exhausted. Um, and I am home from work now. It's I got off work on time today, so. When I got home though, Keaton is, was asleep. She's still asleep, she's in her bed. I just don't think she's feeling very good. She woke up before I left for work this morning and I actually just stayed home. She was like so sad and crying. She's like, I just wanted to cuddle with you. So I didn't go to work right away. I stayed home and cuddled with her for a little bit. Okay, you guys, so Shad is home, uh, Kennedy's here. Her and I are gonna run to the store really quick and pick up her dress for choir that we had to have hemmed because I don't know how to hem. Actually, I probably do, but I want it to be good. Um, Shad just got home. You guys, we were like so frustrated right now. We're talking about the coronavirus. Thankfully, he got his eight hours of work in today, but after that, they like go home. Everybody go home. Some people did not get their eight hours, and guess why? Because of the coronavirus. People are freaking out. So we do catering for Microsoft Catering. Obviously, there's groups of people meeting together. We bring them food and whatever, but they're discouraging large groups of people meeting together. So they're making, they're wanting Microsoft employees to stay home um, and work from home, not even come there, and they've canceled conventions, they've canceled meetings. Um, until we don't know. We have no idea. And for March, we had uh, two and a half million dollars projected in sales for catering, and two million of that has already canceled. So yeah, like our business just stopped. This is ridiculous. Completely stopped. Like this is, is people's livelihoods. Yeah. Not just you. Like this, it affects everybody from a dishwasher up to a sh like high end chef. Probably like two hundred people that work in my building. Just in your building. This yeah. is not counting all of Microsoft, which is what in all the cafes. There's got to be eight hundred people. Oh, easy. A thousand. Yeah. More. <laughs> I mean, you know, people that wipe off tables to the cooks to the cleaner, the custodian, like everybody. So they're like, they're, and this infuriates me. There hasn't been any confirmed cases at Microsoft. There's been some possibles. But so. also, it's flu and cold season, so it's easy to mix it up between the two. Yeah. People yeah, like that they have it really like somebody I right. know, somebody I know was like, "Oh, I have a headache." Oh gosh. And they called home and they're like, "Oh, my daughter has a cough." And they literally called their school. Oh no. So, who knows what happened from that? This is ridiculous. Yeah. But on the bright side, my science test might get canceled because there won't be enough kids to school. It, are there aren't kids going to school? No, there's uh, in my science class, especially, there's very few. Really? Yeah. Yesterday, there was like at least eight kids missing. But yeah, so they might cancel my. <laughs> <laughs> like cancel altogether, or just reschedule it. Just reschedule. Also, Kennedy is supposed to go to New York City in May, so two months. It's all paid for and everything, and. There's a possibility it could be canceled for now. They've told us it's still on. I'm all for like taking precautions and being careful. Like Keaton is sick right now. Keaton has a cold. Maybe if she's not better by tomorrow, maybe I would take her into the doctor. But otherwise like, it's a cold. Like she hasn't had a fever and we've been checking it, but like people around here, they're like, I just sneezed. I need to go to the doctor. I can't come to work. I can't do this or that. Like. But Kennedy and I, we're gonna go to the store right now, you guys, because we have not actually been to the store since all this has happened, and we've just been living our lives, but people are like, oh my gosh, the stores are all wiped out of um, hand sanitizer, Lysol, bread, canned goods. We're gonna go toilet check out the grocery paper. store. Yeah. Toilet paper. We're gonna go check out the grocery store. We have to pick up her dress, and right next to <laughs> the alteration shop is Fred Meyer. We do have to get some chicken for dinner and we're just gonna see if this is true. And maybe they are because people are freaking out over here. I mean, we're in the epicenter of the coronavirus. So besides China, Seattle's next. <laughs> so um, we'll just go see if it's true or not. All right, time to check this out. We already noticed that the parking lot is like empty. So we're gonna see if it's all cleared out in here. We actually need some Clorox wipes. All right. Kennedy needs some of this for her hamster. Keaton calls it corn, so. This one? Sure. Getting some corn. Okay, here's the cleaning aisle. What does it say? Oh, they're limiting cold and flu related products to five each per customer. So, yeah, there's. Can get 10? 
<laughs> if we paid for it separate, yeah. So yeah, there's no Clorox wipes, which I actually wanted some, and no Clorox spray. There's bleach. There's plenty of milk. People are just like, oh, there's no milk. No, there's no paper. <laughs> okay, evidently people think they're gonna like <laughs> use the bathroom so much that they have to wipe out the toilet paper. There's still enough though. So really it's not like completely wiped out. There's plenty of toilet paper. I mean, it's definitely more bare than we're used to seeing, but the media is saying like, there's nothing left. Not true. There's the keister. We just got home and she was still asleep, so I turned the hall light on and that woke her up. She's smiling. I don't think she has a fever. You're smiling. I just want you to be able to go to school tomorrow. What does that look? <laughs> what do you see, Keaton? I haven't showed the vlog yet. Is it, are you creeped out? Are you a little scared? <laughs> So she is uh, looking at, whoa, oh, down doll. Just cracked her head. Keaton's looking at this doll that was my grandma's doll. And it's made out of wood. It's very old. I Shad said he tried looking it up to see like what kind it was. And so we're not sure, but wait, you have to be very gentle with her because She's, see how some of it's coming off? Like we don't want it to get ruined more. So be gentle, okay? <laughs> Are you scared? Her face, Are you creeped out? This was my grandma's doll and she had given it to a friend of hers from their church in Libby, Montana and um, her friend's daughter messaged me the other day and they're so sweet their whole family um <clears throat> and we're like we've known them for years and years like I was little little and her daughter messaged me the other day and said my mom has a doll of your grandma's would you like it I was like oh, yes please so I had no clue what this doll was or anything and when I got it out of the box I was like it's probably haunted <laughs> We have like a scary doll at our house. Kennedy was like, that's gonna go like away, right? Like it can't be down here when I come out like in the middle of the night. I'm already afraid of the dark and I'm like, don't worry, we'll like put her away. But I mean, it's very special. And I'm very thankful that um, my grandma's friend sent this to us. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I highly doubt that she watches. Maybe, maybe Pam watches. So Pam, thank you. <laughs> Um, anyway, it's very special that I have this and um, we'll take very good care of her. Maybe we could give her a name. Um, Bubble. Bubble? No, no, not this Bubble. Be Bubble. careful, be careful with her, honey. Bubble. Eglish. Bubble Eglish? Yeah. Okay, sure. Bubble Eglish girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, it's time to start dinner, you guys. It is like after 6.30. Took forever at the store. I'm picking up her dress. But we're gonna have, we just picked up some baked chicken from the deli, and then we're gonna have some stovetop and mashed potatoes and salad. I don't know, I don't think I showed you guys in the store. We actually did buy a thing of toilet paper because we actually need it. Like, I think we have like two rolls left or something upstairs. Look at Shad's pretty plate. So this is a pre-made salad, you know, they're like, already chopped up in the bag and they have all the stuff and you mix it so it has white cheddar some kale some uh, cabbage some green leaf some little croutons and like a super creamy garlic dressing no I thought that was celery oh no what is that? it does look like celery I didn't think it said celery in it maybe Oh, it's definitely celery. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. No. Hi, everybody. It's the next day. Today <laughs> is. What is today? Thursday. We had James here. Did you say hi? And watch this vlog. Watch this. What? Look. Look, James. Here, do it again. See if he watches you. He's watching himself. Do it again. Is that funny? Can you laugh? Usually he laughs at that. 
right? He thinks you're the best and cutest and funniest little kid ever. So Keaton did not go to school today. She still has a little bit of a cold. We weren't gonna risk it because they probably would just send her home. So she stayed home again. Kennedy has a choir concert tonight. She's not gonna go to that either. Our news for today, Shad went to work this morning. Basically, they were told there is no work for you for three weeks. Hang on. So we were like freaking out a little bit because there was, we were like, okay, that's three Hello. weeks of no pay and he doesn't have vacation time built up to cover that. So him and thousands other of other workers would be not having money coming in for three weeks. And then um, on my way home today from work, Shad called me and they had a meeting and get this, Microsoft, the company Microsoft is paying for everybody's wages. All of, of course, like all the Microsoft employees would be getting paid because some of them can work from home and whatever, but Microsoft is paying for all the people that they even contract with. So, which is Chad, his company contracts with Microsoft. So they're paying for all of their wages for however long Microsoft is closed, they are covering that. And hang on, James is falling again. Okay, Kennedy and I are off to her concert. She's at the door waiting for me. Keaton's super bummed that she doesn't get to go. Mommy, I'll take a video of it and you can watch it later, okay? Question for you. What? What do you want for dinner? <laughs> Apparently, it's up to me. <laughs> Extreme close-up, Keaton. <laughs> you feeling better? Yeah, she's feeling better, but she couldn't go. That's all right. We're gonna hate. We're gonna be here. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna eat dinner. Yeah, Dad's gonna try to have some energy. But uh, I'm having leftover spaghetti, and we'll see what Keaton's gonna have. Keaton, you know, why are you still in your pajamas? I wonder if you stay in your pajamas. Yeah, that's okay. Especially, but I, but I can't stay in my pajamas tomorrow because we're going to pick that up. Wait, tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, so Bobby to stay home. Mommy's gonna stay at home. I totally forgot tomorrow was Friday. Alex, I seriously, I totally forgot tomorrow was Friday. So we're having leftovers. One of my favorite days of the week. I'm having spaghetti. And Keaton's having mac and cheese. I'm Mickey Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> Keaton's having mac and cheese. Hello, and strawberries. Welcome to my castle. You have a castle? Yeah. Oh my goodness. And we have a little uh, dinner guest with us. We brought Creepy Doll with us. No, her name her, her, her name is not Creepy Doll. Her name is Bubbly English. Bubbly English? No. Oh, she's joining us. No, not Bubbly English. It's Bubbly Agalish. Agalish. Yeah. Regardless, she's creepy. But yeah. she's kind of cool though, because she's old and wooden. And I didn't know this until just now. She's cool, she's all like wide awake, and then all of a sudden she's like, I'm getting sleepy. But watch this. Hold on, hold on. She gets sleepy. Oh, look at silly that. And she closes her eyes. <laughs> we are going upstairs, Keaton and I, and Creepy doll. No, not creepy doll. <laughs> it's bubbly English. Get ready for bed and relax, and hopefully, mommy and Kennedy will be home soon. Okay, we're home. Kennedy and her choir did absolutely beautiful. I have soup. Yes, you do. And I did you heat it up in that? No. Oh, good. Because you need to put it on the stove top. No, I'm just gonna stick it in a bowl and microwave it. Oh, okay, that works. <laughs> We're gonna say goodnight, you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys are amazing. We love you. Thanks for watching, Uncle's Life. Good night.